Hi guys, so I'm making this video to show you how adhesives behave when you dispense them. And this is a question that we get asked a lot, so I thought it'd be easier to make a video and demonstrate to you what can happen to your adhesive. Now the constant problem we have in the industry is getting your adhesive to work for you. And unfortunately, a lot of technicians are very quick to blame the adhesive rather than actually learning how to work with it. You have to learn how to work with an adhesive. You have to learn what surface it likes to dis be dispersed onto because each adhesive is different. If you have a more slow curing adhesive, such as our tender from the shop, it's going to be more thick and gloopy. It's going to hold together better. If you have our most advanced adhesive, our rapid one, which is very, 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 very thin in consistency, this adhesive will want to separate if you do not dispense it onto the correct waffled surface. So what is a waffled surface? It's a textured surface such as micropore tape or paper tape. And interestingly, these adhesives will perform very, very differently on both, and I will show you. Now, a slower curing adhesive is much more thicker and gloopier. Can you see? It's like really thick, really stringy, like so. Whereas a more advanced adhesive will actually be very... Did you see how that came out? It was like water. Now, the problem that we've got with both of these adhesives, even this tender one, is because the surface that I've put them on, which is actually a little bit of uh, next care first aid tape, because it's shiny, the adhesive is starting to separate. That means that the black is splitting from the clear or from the, the whole adhesive. It doesn't mean the adhesives are off, it just means that the surface is not textured enough to hold that adhesive on. Even with the most slower curing one, we still need a waffled surface to hold it in a dome. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually stuck two bits of micropore tape onto here and two bits or two layers of paper tape onto here. Now I bought, bought this micropore tape the other day because I just wanted to experiment with different um, brands and different textures. We don't sell this one on the shop, but I just wanted to see if working with different waffle textures made a difference with the adhesive. So first of all, I'm going to use the fast adhesive. And that is on to the micropore tape, and that is onto the paper tape. And then I'm going to put the slower curing one on. So. Now you can already see how this adhesive here, the faster curing one, has actually started to spread. Can you see how it's seeping down through the micropore tape, even though it's two layers? Whereas this one on the paper tape is actually held together so much better. And again, we can see this on the slower curing one that's held in a nice ball. It's actually held in more of a ball than this one because it's thicker consistency. But even on this tape here that is waffled and actually more textured, it is still started to seep in to the paper sorry, into the micropore tape. So as you can see, it's not actually the adhesive that has gone bad. It's the surface that it's on. And because these adhesives are so much more advanced now than they ever used to be, they're a lot thinner in consistency and they have to be if you're using advanced adhesives where they're super quick curing and they need to be very, very thin for volume. You must dispense them on the right surface. Otherwise, they will not hold in a dome. They will literally split or they will start to penetrate into the surface that they're on. I actually thought that this micropore tape would be really good because it's very, very textured, but actually quite the opposite. It absorbed it too much. That was a real shock to me. So if you're having this problem, please shop around for what it is that you put your adhesive onto. So this image here is some adhesive that I put onto the backing strip of an iPad. And you can see how very quickly it has started to separate. If you look around the outer edge, you can see that it's very mottled and it is where the black pigment is separating from the cyanoacrylate. 
This adhesive is not off. It's the same adhesive that was used before on the jade stone. It's just that it's on a shiny surface, so it is splitting. So you can now see how these advanced adhesives, very, very thin ones, cannot cope with a shiny surface. How we've actually had three surfaces here, paper tape, micropore tape, the backing of an iPad, and actually we put it on the um, beige colour tape, and how they all perform differently. So you can really, really see the importance of experimenting with that adhesive and different surfaces, learning what surface that adhesive likes to be placed on, and then you will get the best out of your adhesive. If you've got an adhesive that separates, of course it's not going to perform. It doesn't mean the adhesive is off, it just means that it's splitting. So please make sure your adhesive stays together in a dome doesn't split so that you get the best workability out of your adhesive.